Hello, welcome to shearingandfencing.com.au. My name's Justin, and I'd like to show you today how to set up a shearing clipper with a comb and cutter correctly. This comb and cutter is designed for shearing sheep, goats, and alpacas. So if you have a look here when we set up the, the comb on the comb bed of the clipper, we want equidistance from the outside of that comb point there and that comb point there. That'll enable the correct throw on the other side of the comb. So we're looking for equidistance there and there and that looks to be about it. Then we tighten those comb screws up fairly tightly, not over tight to begin with. Turn the clipper over. Place the, co the cutter on the comb give it a bit of tension, a bit of tension there and what we're now looking for is to make sure that the cutter does not overlay onto the scallop. That scallop is the indent on the top of the comb. We want the cutter to be cutting on the blade surface which is the shiny bit. So you, as you can see there's about a millimetre gap or two millimetres gap at the um, shortest point there, so that will cut the wool as the as the comb and cutter go through the wool, and that's where you want it. Just turn it over, you see that that's correct. Tighten it up correctly, and now you're ready to shear your sheep, goats, or alpacas.